hey guys welcome back to my channel pantast hint and in this video we're gonna discuss about the checklist for the cms like wix wordpress joomla or penetration testing purpose or we can say like how we can start the pen testing for the cms website so basically that penetration testing for that cms which means that content management system websites like our wix and wordpress which follow like a similar methodology to testing like other types of website but there are some consideration and differences due to uh, the nature of the cms platform so in this video we're gonna discuss uh, that checklist which covers like common aspects of cms vulnerabilities and uh, for the penetration testing with some specific consideration for the cms platform so let's start with that reconnaissance phase so in first part we have to identify the cms platform and we can use like uh, that weblizer or what web type of tools to determine the version of the CMS or any plugins themes uh, like being used in that our target website and uh, to gather information about the website structures the directories and technologies stacks after the reconnaissance part we'll start that vulnerability assessment so in VA part we just conduct a automated scan for the known vulnerabilities in the that CMS code that plugins and theme and we check for the misconfigurations the defaults settings weak passwords and sensitive data exposure so basically uh, we just look for that publicly disclosed vulnerability that's specific for the cms or its component so for example if you got that wordpress version let's say 4.3 something so we can search on uh, that internet like is there any specific exploit available in uh, that search engine or not or we can check that particular that cv for that uh, that particular that plugin and all the next is that authentication testing then we have to test that authentication testing which means that test default cred credentials or we can say that weak password policies and we attempt to bypass authentication mechanism and we just test for that account lockout and session management vulnerabilities in authentication testing the next is for that authorization testing so in authorization testing we check for uh, that idor which is insecure direct object reference uh, we test for that privilege escalation vulnerabilities and we check that rbsc mechanism that's mean that role based access control so we'll cover in that authorization testing part then we'll check that session management so in session management we'll test for that session fixation uh, session hijacking session timeout issues so so we just are that verify the effectiveness of the session cookies and their tokens the next uh, step is for that input validations so when we uh, that decide our target then we just analysis like all type of inputs so test for that injection vulnerabilities like sql injection accesses and csrf and we can validate that user input in forms urls and like other parameters then we'll move on to data protection so in data protection we just check for uh, the data encryption is like transist or at rest so we just ensure that sensitive data is properly protected especially in databases and backups so we just verify that compliance with the data protection regulations like gdpr hipaa so if your website target website it's like give service in european countries so we can check that gdpr uh, that compliance or if it is uh, that payment gateway so we can check as per that pci dss uh, that compliance part then the file upload vulnerabilities so test for that file upload vulnerabilities like allowing executable files or uh, is there insufficient file type validation so basically we check for that server side and client side filtering or uh, or that that file extensions the next is that cms specific check so for example uh, that wordpress so we check for that outdated plugin themes like uh, vulnerable plugin and themes that misconfiguration settings for example like uh, we can check the directory listings enable or not or if i'm talking about that wix so we check the misconfigurations in wix specific features and integrations 
then uh, we check about that error handling so we test for that error message that reveal that sensitive information to verify uh, that multiple error pages are securely configured to avoid that information disclosure because sometimes if we got any error and we can see the version detail or that internal queries uh, like in error format the next is for that business logic testing so in business logic testing we just test the that logic of cms specific features like that user roles or the content management so basically we just check for that vulnerability related to the e-commerce functionalities are uh, like if your target uh, like in that e-commerce so we can check that ad card facility uh, facilities and uh, like other things like uh, for the payment gateway we can alter the payment uh, that amount or not so we can check in that business logic testing and then security header and configurations we just check for the uh, like the presence of the security headers like csp that content security policies or hsts that http strict transport security or xss protection headers etc so we just uh, review that server configurations for security that best practices then the third party integration so we'll check that uh, the vulnerabilities in third party plugins apis or that service integrated with the cms the next is that compliance testing so in compliance testing we just ensure that compliance with re that relevant security standards like ovas top 10 uh, sans 25 pci dss are like fully compliant or not then we can move uh, into that documentation and reporting part like uh, document all the findings which including that vulnerabilities that risk and that, remi uh, that remediations and we just prioritize that finding based on their severity and then potential impact so we provide the clear and actionable recommendation for the remediation so in this case we can uh, use that cvss 4.0 to uh, that calculate the severity of this vulnerability or we can uh, that mention that step by step that remediation in our report so overall all the that the core methodology for the cms penetration testing that like remains similar to that other website so the specific check and consideration may vary based on the features and architecture of the cms platform so to understanding uh, the nouns of uh, that each cms platform is crucial for conducting that effective penetration test so we have to identify uh, that how uh, that uh, that application architecture is works or what is the business logic so from start to end that recon to documentation uh, or reporting that part we have to ensure that each points which we have discussed that earlier so that's enough for the uh, this video or that checklist we'll discuss like another vulnerability or another tutorial in that another video so if you like my video then please uh, that comment and subscribe and share with your friends who want to learn about that penetration testing uh, in web application that checklist so we'll meet you soon